after that, and I said, well, this, that, and the other, and she's like, lol, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I didn't talk to her for a few days after that, because, not because of what she did, but the way she acted about it was really, really kind of immature, and I was like, not really too cool about that. I was really upset, actually, that she just kind of rolled it off, and I was like, whatever, I'm like, you know, just don't talk to me for a few days. She hates it when I do that, she acts like that just because we live together, that she has a jurisdiction over me. It's like, well, no, I'm 18. You can't, you can't really tell me, oh, even though you're 18, you still have to, you know, obey me. It's like, well, I'm not, you know, when I was a kid, I could understand that, because you're my parent, but now I'm 18, you know, and you can't tell me, oh, I can't talk to you. It's like, well, that's my choice. I don't want to talk to you. That's because, well, it's because you pissed me off. It's not because I don't love you. It's just, you know, you made me mad. And on occasion, I don't, I don't think she fully understands what not talking to you is. Even though she's done that to her mom. <sighs> and shit like that just kind of happens. Family drama. Even though I love the shit on my mom, I still do get fairly pissed off because, you know, I'm just trying to do, like, me on occasion. Like, I'm just trying to be me, like, I have friends or trying to do, you know, this, that, and other. And she just, all of a sudden, here's mommy trying to, you know, tell 20 year old Cody how to, you know, live his life and trying to tell 20 year old Cody that, you know, this, that, and the other. And it's like, what the fuck? It's like, why can't I just, you know, kind of keep doing my thing, man? And there's, you can't really talk to her about shit like that because most of the time she'll get, like, pissy and upset and she'll be like, well, you know, she'll start trying to fight and argue and shit. And it's like, yeah, I love you, but it's like, you know, I do have, you know, kind of a I do kind of have my own life to live. And it's like, you know, you can't always just kind of control me. And it's like, yeah, I love you, Mom, but, you know, still. There's a, you know, a point to me becoming an adult. And it's, you know, kind of the thing of me becoming an adult means that I'm, you know, kind of not, you know, under the jurisdiction anymore. It's like, you know, being an adult means that I can, you know, kind of have these things and it's that and the other. And yeah. You know, family stuff. But, eh. Eh. Yeah, look at that. He's not even up there yet. Oh, there he is. He's like a mysterious ghost. Oh my god. Uh, probably just. Uh, yeah, but my mom also says stupid shit. Like, I used to try to record and she would bomb into where I was recording and she'd start, you know. She'd start saying. Her, like, she doesn't say things to hurt my feelings, but she says dumb things. Like, she says stuff that's very immature, and it really pisses me off because it's like one of those things where it's like, it's like, I love you, mom, but you can't come in here saying Cody, you know, she, she'll blatantly just be like, oh yeah, Cody sucks dick, or he's like this, that, and the other, and it's like, that's not Cody. It's like, I'm like, I'm trying to record, I'm trying to be like, kind of serious. It's kind of not fair that I'm trying to be kind of serious and she's like, oh yeah, Cody, da -da, Luke's penis, that and the other, and she'll say stupid shit, and it just, it, it kind of ticks me off because another thing is, is she knows that I'm actually trying to be serious when I record stuff, and that on occasion kind of pisses me off. But she's like, you know, she, she acts like it's just a kind of a big joke, and it's like, it's not a big joke to me. I like doing this, and I maybe one day like to have a future doing this. And 
it really upsets me because it's like, come on, you know. And yeah. A few things about me. I have been diagnosed with depression. I have it under control, but on occasion it rolls in and out. And on, and on occasion there are days where I am the ultimate party pooper. I'm also naturally a party pooper because sometimes I just like pooping parties. Because I'm a, you know, fecophiliac, you know. On occasion I just like spread ladies' butt cheeks and they have like the watery diarrhea. Okay, I'm gonna stop, you know, before I get flagged for super inappropriate shit. But. Thurby Driggins. I remember when someone thought that map was about where uh, Tiny Tina's DLC was gonna be. I remember that. That guy's dead now, by the way. His name is Yodi Slayer. He, uh. I guess he was trying to beat a train? And yeah. Life lesson learned, totally. Come on, Clappy. Let's go on an adventure! God, this episode's been nothing but depression. Oh yeah, another little fact about me. I am slightly psychotic. I do have these weird little, like, episodes. I have a very hard time trying to channel frustration and anger, and most of the times it just ends up me being gritting my teeth and slamming my hands on things. I don't take it out on people, because even if I'm, like, really pissed, I know I shouldn't take it out on a person, because that's not right. But, like, to me, hitting an inanimate object is okay. Because it's a fucking inanimate object. But, I will admit, it is going to be weird one day when I hit a fucking door. And it's going to be like, ow. How would you react to that? Alrighty. The road to sanctuary. Walk very slow. Now, nah, fuck that. Just sprinted. <laughs> like, fuck you! Predator house! I'm getting very far, actually. I didn't think I'd move or progress this quickly. Huh. Neato! God, I'm gonna have to cut that video. It's gonna suck. It's near the end, though, so it doesn't matter. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, fuck! I saw a shadow and I, like, got. Me. Hey, bully mang! Fucking shit, why am I stuttering? Wow, the bunny just totally went the wrong way. No, 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 no! Yee, yee. Hit. Yeah, the jumping pattern of that shit's weird. Oh shit. Nope. 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 Let's reload, man. Let's kick some. Oh, wait. You like being hit? Good. I like it when my girls like it rough. You know, you just get a like, like, like whenever a girl's like, "Yo, you got a riding prop?" I pull out a monkey wrench, and I'm like, "Yo, let's do this." I don't want no weak bitch. She's got to have stamina and endurance. Pick up the fucking iridium! Oh my. Oh. My. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Overall, here we go. We're off on the road to Rhode Island! I don't remember that from uh, Family Guy. That's actually pretty cool. Nope! Nope! Fucking shit! Fuck. Oh god damn it! Why do I have every other weapon? In Borderlands One, when I first started playing it, I did not actually play it, so I carry around four shotguns. And then eventually, I figured out they all went on the same ammo, but still kept doing it because one had good damage and one had good accuracy. Uh, and then eventually, I switched to having like the elephant gun on me, so I kind of switched up the methodology a little bit. Man, Scooter, I don't, I don't even fucking like you, Scooter. I, I, I stopped liking you a while ago. I don't want any 
even honestly. Okay, well I already know what this is. So I'm just gonna run here and grab this shirt. Do 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 I need a new shield at some point. I've got a pretty good Roy shield on but Just activate the fucking objective! I don't wanna be here. I actually for some reason it's just this part of the game. And um and um Sawtooth Cauldron. Both those both those areas, both this and that area I do not like. I don't like Sawtooth Cauldron just because I find that for some reason the most tedious part of the entire game. Uh, no, fuck it, let's just kill everything. Because you're just going to shoot me anyway, so... There's no point in leaving you alive if you're just going to fucking shoot at me anyway, so... That's actually a pretty good mental process. If you're going to fucking shoot me, I'm just going to fucking kill you. Makes sense. Where are you at? On occasion, there's so much happening, I kind of forget what I'm doing. They'll be, like, moving around so fast that, like, shit's just, like, crazy. The fuck is everything? God damn. By the way, I'm sorry if my language might offend some people, but I don't care. I'm sorry. I will say what I want, how I want, and if it offends you, then, you know, that's your buff, man. I'm fucking hitting square! Put the fucking thing in the fucking thing! Sex, you put the male part in the girl part and you swiggle it around. That's how it looks, right? That, that's sex? Yeah, that's sex. We'll say that's sex. <sighs> Fucking hurry up. I don't have all day. Alright. Spawn vehicle. Teleport vehicle. Let's make the jump! Alright. Well, this is going pretty good. Oh god. I keep forgetting that terrain in this game is fucking weird as shit. Oh god. Where's all the bully mangs? Boner farts. Do, 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 do. Yeah, look at me, I'm swag. I swag. Also, something about Ultimate Vault Hunter mode that I was recently told about was even though it resets all my quests, I still have all the locations. Meaning that at some point, fast travel. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry, but you can't loiter here. Oh, now you're gonna shoot me. Okay, no. 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 That is not how this works. Oops. Oh, one shot and I'm dead. No, no, you don't. That was one Oh, I'm pretty good. <laughs> that gentleman, uh, took the warning fine. No, no. You know what? You're gonna die. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> By the way, I do play a melee and an explosive damage Krieg. So I play two kind of weird Kriegs. I use the explosive damage Krieg for whenever I'm fighting a boss, um, for certain bosses, because I have the Unkempt Herald. Uh, I could probably use that to make my Blood Splosion better, and on certain bosses, Blood Splosion will fucking kill. Alright, well, let's go talk to, uh, Colonel Autumn. Eh, his name isn't Colonel Autumn, that's a Fallout reference. Hey, it's Roland! I played as Roland in the first game. That's it. No no overwhelming story like that. It was just, I played as, played as the black guy. A friend of mine had a big buff about that. He's like, well, why play as the black guy if you're not black? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I, I still don't fucking know. On occasion, I think most of the people I know are actually racist. I dated a girl who was racist, and she tried to... She tried to hide it, but... Yeah, she didn't She didn't really do, do too good at that. 